Greetings from Munich, home to historical architecture, lively beer gardens, and of course, Laser World of Photonics, the world's leading trade show on lasers. Photonic Spectra Now is brought to you by Ceram Optic, innovative fiber optics every step of the way. Visit ceramoptic.com to learn more. And by Norland Products, pioneering high-performance adhesives and specialized solutions since 1960. Visit their all-new website at norlandproducts.com. New visitors are pouring in every day at Messe München, so we won't know the total number of attendants until the show wraps on Friday. But, like the nearly 1,400 exhibitors here in attendance, it's expected to break records. The event is an opportunity for photonics groups to show off their latest products and systems, and for great minds to exchange ideas while making new connections. For the organizers, who spent months on planning to make this global conference possible, to see the doors open on Tuesday was both a reward and a relief. As soon as the turnstiles open, it is great. It's great to see everybody. It's great to see familiar faces in the halls. And then, of course, to see all the international crowds coming in. So we're very happy. Anke Oduli is the exhibition director for Laser World of Photonics. She says her team is excited to welcome the industry's leading companies, who've become a regular presence at the trade show, as well as new groups looking to make a name for themselves in lasers. Oduli says one field in particular is expanding rapidly, as the world of quantum saw a 70% increase in the number of exhibitors stepping onto the stage this year. We have uh, over 150 exhibitors now in Hall A1 in our world of quantum, which uh, we are very proud of and very happy to bring all of those players together. If it's from the enabling part, from quantum computing, quantum sensing, the big players from Germany, like from the German Ministry for Research, Technology and Space, uh, but also from the DLR, um, and we're happy to have them all here. The most forward-thinking industry players are always looking for the next big thing in photonics, but the big thing now is integration of automation and AI. At a press briefing hosted by the VDMA, board members described AI as another tool to be used to improve efficiency, especially in the manufacturing process. That application was on display at several booths showcasing the benefits of pairing robotics and automation with photonics. I was at the booth of Trump. They do have a robot arm with a laser up front and there you can see how a battery for e-mobility is being welded. It shows the perfect match. You see the first fruits coming from there, of course. Uh, we have the, um, a special show in Hall A3 on photonics and meets robotics with AI, and this is the perfect match. And there, of course, there will be also a lot of presentations in forums and lectures where you can learn about how AI helps to bring those two parts also together. Held in conjunction with Laser World of Photonics is World of Photonics Congress. It's a gathering of leading researchers who've been holding forums and sharing information, both theoretical and in application-based practices. The Congress meeting is also a platform to discuss market trends in the industry. A new survey of German photonics groups show that a majority of companies are expecting business to remain relatively stagnant in the next year, citing geopolitical challenges as the top risk factor facing companies. Another way to learn about the latest advancements is to take part in one of the many tours held by exhibitors. This press tour led by Fraunhofer covers optics, laser-based production chains, and the latest advancements towards laser-powered fusion. There's no shortage of events and breakthroughs happening here at Laser World of Photonics, but let's take a look outside of Munich to see what else is making headlines. An EU project lasting more than three years concludes with the development of lithium niobate on insulator substrates for photonic integrated circuits. This establishes a fully European supply chain for the thin film technology, enabling high-performance picks with electro-optics, non-linear optical, and acousto-optic properties. Photon Delta is teaming up with Luminate NY to support the growth of early-stage photonics companies across North America and the Netherlands. Through this collaboration, startups that are part of the Photon Delta or Luminate team can get access to the benefits from each other's accelerator programs, enabling photonics startups to leverage these ecosystems and relationships to accelerate their own innovation and scaling into the global market. And Diamond Technologies is set to acquire the complete portfolio of Atkin Semiconductor. That portfolio includes several patents in diamond films for semiconductors and optics. That does it for this episode of Photonic Spectra Now. I'm about to go see if these groups play as hard as they work. The after party starts now. Thanks for watching. Yeah.